Welcome to Nico Props. I'm Chris Fry, also known as Nicodemus, and today we're in the office at Nico Props, just off from the the workshop, and to discuss the Muse by Full Spectrum Laser, which I've recently got. I actually got this um, last week, um, and uh, and I did an unboxing video for that, which is what we're just about to get, just about to see. Um, there is a reason why I I haven't done that video and haven't released that video up until now, other than editing. Um, and I'm going to kind of cover that and discuss that at the, the end of the video where we're also going to talk about user experiences with full spectrum laser as well. So let's cut over to the dining room where I'll be doing the unboxing. Let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got a big box. This I assume is the actual muse itself. I haven't even opened it. In some unboxing videos people have opened the tape. This, this tape has actually got at the edges here has been uh, has been ripped off I think during transit but the actual middle tape hasn't even been touched and the strap's still on I think there may have been two straps at one point and one of them's come off but never mind haven't opened it haven't opened any of these packages I, don't, I, I wanted to save it save it so you'd have my reaction on film okay so what we're gonna do now I'm not gonna open the big one because that's massive and it's really heavy as well I'm gonna open the small ones which I suspect are things like water pumps and the radiator chiller I've also got as, as part of this setup, so I've got the, the water chiller. Um, I think they send us through the actual um, the standard pump as well. I've also got the squirrel fan for venting, and it should have a 45 watt laser. I want to check to make sure that it's got that 45 watt. I have heard rumours in previous orders where they sent through a 40 watt, and nobody's noticed until they've actually gone to change the tube. So we need to check that during this. Okay, so I'm going to move the big box over to the side a little bit so I can get to the small boxes, alright? It's really heavy. <coughs> Let's start off with this small one here. Okay. Got myself uh, just a utility knife and I just need to be careful that I'm not going to damage anything while I'm doing this. And I'm going to do, once I've unboxed this and put it on the table, I'm going to bring the camera down, change the angle so you can get a better view. have uh, bubble wrap, small blue box, this blue box is a mains adapter for converting from something to something, what's this? International all-in-one mains adapter, not sure why I've got this, that's somewhat worrying. I ordered this with a 220 uh, volt power supply. Just a, it's just a, it's an adapter, it's just a plain like a travel adapter. Lock, unlock, nothing very special about that. So, okay, we'll do a zoom up of that in a bit. Let's put that away. Got another box in here, I've also got some packaging here. Some sort of weird three gang extension thing. Not sure what that is. Never seen that before. It looks like a US pin type though. Okay. Oh, this feels heavy. Put that over there. This, this is, I've got no idea what this is. But whatever it is, I've got some pieces of plastic that is smashed on it. That looks like a dial, fuse. That is the fuse uh, pod. I'm not sure where that, oh I see. On the side here, there is supposed to be a screwed in fuse thing and it's shattered, absolutely wrecked. That's not good, full spectrum. I mean, this whole box is like, you can see it's all pushed out. Um, I've got, A powdered fuse, completely crushed, useless. Let's put all these bits back in the bag. Um, so this is supposed to be a step down 
220 volt transformer. Right. Made in China, apparently. Right, okay. So this is looking suspiciously like I'm not going to be able to use this thing. Which will be very disappointing. I'm going to be extremely disappointed if I can't use this. There's no cables in here, so I'm going to put this out of the way, off camera. Okay, the big box, bigger box, not the big big box, but the bigger box. Let's open that. Another box inside. Packaging bubble wrap everywhere. More bubble wrap in the box, but other than that, there's nothing else inside there. Let's put all that bubble wrap. Put that up, put that in there. Throw that off to the side there so this says on the side chiller right okay so they've sent me a chiller which I mean it was, a, it was supposed to be a water radiator so maybe because of in the email that I sent I kicked off and said how are you going to compensate me maybe they've actually sent me a proper chiller as sort of compensation maybe we'll see it definitely looks like a proper chiller Look at that. Let's get this out. That is, uh, that is definitely an industrial chiller. Let's take the packaging off. Have a look at that bad boy. So I assume you fill this up with uh, distilled water um, and that's going to be basically my reservoir and coolant system. Okay, right, so inside this box as well we have a cable. I imagine that is to connect to... I have no idea. Um, we have a mains cable, which seems to be essentially like for the uh, ICD key lead, right, uh, kettle type lead, and um, silicon tubing to connect to the Muse and this. So we've got, we've got that to attach, to attach to that. Okay, still, I'm still very concerned about that. Um, Yeah, that transformer, that does concern me, but we'll see. This box down here, with the chiller out the way. Now that end of the table, right. This is the main event. Now, I have seen another video by Skin Jobs unboxing his. Um, it's the only one that I've seen around. Can have a look at that i'll put a link in the description of the video um, and at the end uh, if i if i remember to do so i'll try and put a link in the actual video as well so let's have a look it's that mix this so it's already cut careful to lift it up while i cut it so i don't score anything and there's another box inside. So let's, uh, let's do what skin jobs did and just break the box.
a lovely box with Muse written around the bottom. Nice. Okay. Now this one has got its tape intact, so let's uh, open that up. Okay. Right, so got a load of stuff in there. Maybe I could, uh, what I'm going to do, because this is very big, um, I'm going to change the camera angle for a moment so that you can see in the box. Okay, so I've uh, changed the camera angle. I haven't moved anything. I've removed the cardboard from underneath the box just to make it a little bit easier. So what have we got here? We've got the quick start guide, which is the same as uh, what appears to be on their website in a PDF form. Okay. I have a Retina 2.0 O reference guide version one apparently which is how to do some basic functions so we've got that and then some interesting bits there so that seems to be just a bit more paperwork okay we got here a check sheet that, by the look of it to make sure that everything's in here. So this does say radiator chiller. So maybe that is the radiator chiller and it's not the advanced refrigerated chiller. Okay, there we go. Have a look at that, okay. So, we've got the honeycomb bed, which already looks like it's damaged in places, there's already some dinks and things in it. Not good, if I hold that at an angle with the light, you can actually see that. Yeah, not pleased with that, but you know, at the end of the day, it is just there for, uh, to stop you from burning the bottom of your bed, so. Hmm, okay. I'll put that over here on top of the chiller for a moment. We've got uh, some foam. And this black foam stuff is really good. You can see the glass here underneath. I don't know if you can see on the video the Muse symbol, the M. Just take that out. That over to one side. Take that out over there. And we can get our first look. And the Muse, got plastic over the touch screen. Glass doesn't appear to be damaged in any way. Although it doesn't sit flush with the edges. It feels like it's bowed. I don't know if that's intentional or what, but. Okay, ooh, the lid. That's interesting. Yeah. So the hinges, when they get to a certain point, will hold themselves, but they won't lower down. Okay. So the edges of this plastic feel are somewhat sharp on the edge here. That's your muse. A lot of more foam. Got a box in here that feels fairly hefty. That is probably the, um, the exhaust fan. I mean, I'm going to spin the box around sideways so that I can get to this without breaking the lid. So lift that out. Put that down over here. Got foam, more foam inserts. I've got a big stack of foam over here to the side. More foam over here. And uh, even more foam. Hold that over there. Okay. So the machine itself's got uh, this cable ties on the edges and, and up on the the bar here. If I pull that out a little bit, you can see that. Spin that round again. So we've got uh, restraining 
straps, I think. I can see the tube in the back. Uh, I'm not sure if that is a 45 watt tube or not. I can't see from here. I think it's going to be difficult to tell without uh, taking that out, which I'm not inclined to do. Probably won't find that out until replacement. All right, okay. Um, close that down. Just gonna put uh, put this stuff back in the box for now. Just close this box up a bit. See if I can do this without disturbing the camera too much. Okay. Push that over to one side a little bit. Now I did drop my utility knife on the floor. There we go. Let's see what's in here. It feels very heavy, this white box that was inside the news. And there is three other boxes inside. A small, three small boxes and a big box. I suspect the big box is, uh, is the fan for extracting the fumes. Let's take these boxes out, put them over here. And I can chuck the box out of the way for now. So these are the boxes that were inside that one. Let's have a look at each one. Try and uh, make sure I keep this in camera for you guys. Of this, see if I can get in it here. Better. This is the water pump. So I thought they all came with uh, comes with a hose. I did think they all come with with a standard water pump. So I think it's a backup, or it's just in every single packet. I don't know. So let's put all of that back in here. And of course, now taking it out, it won't all go back in. That over to one side. Next, next box feels a little bit weighty. Let's have a look. This looks like a compressor. So the uh, the Muse has an air compressor. Yeah, there's the hose for that. Muse has an air compressor that will blow um, dust and smoke and debris away from the head. So that's what that is. Okay, let's put that back in the box. This doesn't look like it's damaged, so that's all right. Okay. And the next one. That is the connector for the air, right there. Uh, a network cable. Uh, white sticker, so that's probably thermal paper for the alignment process. And silver ducting, the expanded ducting, that's for the fan, which is probably in this big box here. Okay. Be the final piece. And this is the the fan. Basically a squirrel cage fan. Okay. 
I am going to stop the video and what I'm going to do, I'm going to fish the muse out of the big box, put it up on the table so you can see it a bit better and we'll go around the outside so we can look at all the connections and stuff like that, make sure they're all right but also so that you guys can see what it, what, um, what's going on. So uh, that is the Muse unboxing, what have we got? So we've got the, the cage fan with the ducting, we've got a step down transformer for two, 220 volt with a broken fuse cap, um, a radiator chiller which I believe is to be filled up with water, um, we've got the, the connectors for the, uh, for the airline, ethernet cable, power cable, you can still get the original water pump, You've got pipes and the, uh, the air compressor, and then we've got the main system. So looking at the main system here, <coughs> let me move these out of the way so that I can spin this thing around a little bit. Then we've got oh, other feet do stick very well. Move this around. What have we got here? So we've got this is the water and in and out lets right here. We've got the exhaust for the uh, the smoke and the debris. Uh, power, air compressor and exhaust fan power there. We've got um, power just to the main machine and the air inlet valve. That is pretty much it. So, uh, spin this back round, there's nothing on the sides here. I mean, there is uh, this fan hole here. This isn't for smoke and debris. This is actually to keep the electronics cool. All right. So that is the Muse. Um, I am now gonna go and have some fun with A, emailing Full Spectrum to complain about uh, my damaged transformer. You can see the actual uh, the fuse socket's actually completely broken in that. Don't even know if that's going to work or not. I think it's just the casing that's broken, so we shall see. But that's not good. So I'm going to go and email them about that and uh, let's see about setting this thing up. So that was the unboxing video and. Uh, you know, other than the, the, the problem of, uh, of, the, of the broken fuse cap on the transformer, which I noticed, I didn't actually catch something during the unboxing. If you spool back, you'll, you'll probably see this um, on, on the original video. Um, but I, I, I bought the, uh, the full spectrum up here and, uh, and I was very pleased. And I'm sort of sorting out all the cables and things to set it up. And one of the things I did was pull the plastic um, sheet off of the, um, off the screen there, which revealed a damaged screen. So I've put a picture of that here, so you can see that while I'm just talking here. And obviously this is a, this is a big problem, and it's broken at the bottom edge of the screen. And when you start up the Muse, there's a, an agreement at the beginning for a, for a warning, where you have to press agree, and you can't press agree because the touch panel doesn't work. So that's a big problem. Um, I did contact Full Spectrum Support about this. Um, and they're going to send me a replacement panel. They've already sent me some videos on how to switch out the panel um, so that I get a fresh uh, touchscreen. Now I'm going to cover um, that that experience, the support experience, the customer service, the the end-to-end -end ordering experience for with full spectrum laser, um, the customer journey, if you will, in another video. I didn't want to to fill this video up with, um, with with a lot of stuff other than the unboxing. Um, I'm also going to cover in there um, why I cancelled my Glowforge order. I had a Glowforge order originally and uh, and it looks like an amazing machine but I decided that uh, I was going to cancel that and come over to full spectrum so we're going to cover that in the user journey experience as well. Okay. So thanks guys for watching. To subscribe to the channel uh, click up here on the, uh, the little round subscription thing and uh, the user experience videos are going to uh, be uh, at the side here.